It's summertime and it's time to barbecue. You're going to like this one. Today we're going to do a grilled Mexican citrus chicken and grilled jalapeno and lime shrimp. Yummy. They sound good and they are good. Sit back and let's get started. Now both dishes need some cilantro. I've got some fresh there. I'm going to chop about that much for both dishes. Should be enough. Put this in a bowl. And that'll go off to the side till we need it. And next up, our chicken. These are three chicken breasts. Add in the freezer, thaw them out. Grab a container that you're going to put the marinade in. And I put three of the chickens in. Now I think I might have put a couple slits in them to let the marinade kind of ooze in. But it still worked. Well, let's go with our marinade. So in a cup, I'm going to mix most of the stuff in the cup. I probably could have just thrown it in the bowl. This is a quarter cup of orange juice, quarter cup of lime juice, because it is a citrus chicken after all, and a quarter cup of oil. Now, I didn't have olive oil handy, so I just used regular oil. Still worked out just fine. That is um, two green onions chopped up small. Now, this is two teaspoons of chili powder. I'm trying to be careful so I don't dump the whole bottle in. And we'll give it a bit of mix just to get the powder off the spoon actually. We also need this is about a half, three quarter teaspoon. It's actually supposed to be a teaspoon of cumin. I found that the spice is just a little too strong for me so I usually half whatever the recipe calls for. Your call. It's too taste. This also required some hot uh, sauce, quarter teaspoon, a little bit of salt. I didn't put that in. So onto the chicken it goes. And the last ingredient to put on, of course, is the cilantro we chopped up. Now, of course, i got to mix it around somehow. I guess it would have been easier to do it while we're putting everything together but I almost forgot about putting this in so we carefully kind of move it around make sure it's covering everything this is going to go in the fridge at least three hours you want to give it time to really marinate next up is our shrimp now this is uh, 12 ounces about of raw shrimp usually get the cook but which I'm also going to use too, but this is raw. We're going to try this out. We'll get it out of the package, give it a quick rinse, pull the tails off, because unless you're trying to be fancy, I really don't like having a fight with the tails. There you go. Now, if it's not deveined and slit, you want to slice it on the outside of the shrimp like that. Not huge, but enough so that you know, it's, got a, it's not going to screw up when you put it on the barbecue. And we're going to get those into a container. There you go. Off they go. And here's our half bag of uh, cooked shrimp. I didn't want it to go to bed. And since we're barbecuing, hey, why not? Once again, the same thing. Cleaned them up. Pulled the tails off. Now we got to make our marinade. So here's our cilantro. About the same as with the chicken. We need two limes and we're going to use that lime juice too. So the recipe calls for two teaspoons of lime zest. Well, by the time I probably got to about a half a teaspoon I was starting to really get irritated with how long it was taking. So we're just going to go on to the lime juice. I guess if I had one of those little orange juicer things, I'd be good. Didn't have them, so I'd do this by hand. 
splashing lime juice all over the place. But we just kept going until we finally got to where we needed to go, and that looked about right. Yeah, truth be told, I could have used a little more juice. And live and learn for next time. So we clean her up, get our food processor out, because this is how this one's going all together. The lime juice and the cilantro go into the processor. I guess if you don't have a processor, you could probably use a blender. Okay, next up is a half a teaspoon-ish of sugar, a little bit of cumin, about a half teaspoon. This is six cloves of garlic-ish. And that right there, the green stuff, is two tablespoons chopped up jalapenos that I had in the freezer. That was a half teaspoon of salt. And the last component is three tablespoons of olive oil or regular oil. Your choice. Now it's all gooey. Let's get the food processor going and mix it all up. And this takes like 15 seconds. I wasn't sure if I actually got it at this point, so I just kept it going for a couple seconds more just to be on the safe side. We were fine. And that's it. It actually takes longer to put everything together than it does to mix it. So here's our shrimp. I got two containers, one of the cooked, one of the not cooked. Now I've got to parcel it out so that it covers all the shrimp. I kind of wish now I would have put maybe another couple tablespoons of oil into the mix just to give it a little more. We'll have to work on that for the future. I mean, there was enough to cover it and it did cover it quite well. We'll work on it again. It was good. So these are going to go in the fridge with the chicken for three hours. And here we are after the three hours. So there's our chicken. It's been soaking. Yummo. And this is ready to come out of our container and get on the grill. And because it's going to take a little longer than the shrimp, we're going to fire up the grill and throw those on first. Actually, the barbecue is already heating up as we speak. I've just got to pull these out, hand them off to my daughter, who's going to do the grilling while I get the shrimp ready to get on the barbecue. And there we are. And on goes the chicken. All right, back in the kitchen, let's get our shrimp ready to go. I had to go to Dollarama, get some skewers. I didn't have any wooden skewers. And that's what we need for our shrimp. So here's our shrimp, also been in the fridge, marinating for three hours. You want to take the shrimp from the bottom up. Make sure you skewer it in two spots, and that'll hold it in case one lets go. So I got the tail pointing to the left on the first one, and the tail's pointing to the right on the second one. You want to alternate back and forth, depending on how many you put on your skewer, and that just evens it out. And we'll do the same with this. You also kind of want to get a good idea how many shrimp you've got, so you know how many to put on a skewer. I think I figured I had about seven to go on each one. I kind of tried to count so it was even, maybe one was off, but there you go. So I had enough out of that 12 ounces to get three skewers. And now we're going to do the pre-cooked shrimp. And that was enough to get two skewers. So for two people, you've got five skewers of shrimp plus the chicken. It was a great meal. If you got a lot more people, of course, you're probably going to want to double this recipe. And get a lot more shrimp just in case. I liked it. I'm going to try it a few different ways. You can get larger shrimp. And I would guess you could get smaller shrimp too, but that's just a lot more work, I would think. This seemed to be just the right amount. So we've got all the shrimp on the skewers. They're in the pan, and they are ready to get out to the barbecue. 
the last thing you do is sprinkle some sugar on the one side and that's the side that's going to go on the barbecue first just enough maybe a teaspoon width for the whole five skewers so sugar side down you want to oil your grill just to help it so it doesn't stick like that that's kind of a thing but you know if you don't you don't the, the pre-cooked shrimp is done it didn't really take long and now we just got to fire up and now we've just got to keep on cooking the rest. Here we are a few minutes later. The other shrimp are done and the chicken, finally. A couple minutes after that, that's done. And there you go. There's dinner. Skewered shrimp, uh, citrus chicken, and we made a little corn salad to go with it. It was yummy. I hope you'll give this a try. That was fun. And I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed making it. If you do, leave me a comment below. Let me know how it turns out. Subscribe if you haven't. Ring the bell. Give me a thumbs up. I'd sure appreciate it. And as always, we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. Bye for now.